Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here for digitaldojos.com and today we're going to be overviewing the service known as Kirby. All right, before I begin, I want to give a huge thanks to the team over at Kirby for making not only this video possible, but a series of content that we're going to be doing revolving around web safety. I had planned out doing this content and I wanted to seek a sponsor that I thought fit it appropriately and the fine folks at Kirby have made it all possible. So there's going to be a playlist of content and stuff you'll see both here on the YouTube channel on the site over the next couple of days that is sponsored by them. And again, I want to give my utmost gratitude to them for making all of that content revolving around web safety possible. Now, Kirby in itself is this really great, amazing parental control application for iOS. It's super simple to set up, super easy to use, and I get viewers all the time you know, through a, a, a wide variety of age ranges. And one of those, you know, demographics that I get is parents. I get people asking me, you know, how can I best manage my kids' iOS devices? How can I monitor what they're doing? How can I make sure that, you know, this, that, and the other, whether it's, it's blocking content, setting aside strict rules, whatever it may be, how can they do it? Well, Kirby is the best solution that I've found out there that makes it super simple for parents to do so. So there's a 14 day trial that you can try out for completely free. However, if you wanna get the full subscription, it is only $7 a month. That's 23 cents a day to be able to manage all the devices in your household, be it iPhone, iPad, or even iPod here. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at how you go about doing this. So after you've signed up for your account, the first step is to enroll a device. Now, if you are in a school setting for instructors out there who may manage multiple iPhones and iPads, this is a great way to do this well. You can enroll a school iPad. However, if not, you can simply just enroll a device very, very easily here. It's a three-step process. You get your kid's device. You need physical access, of course. You then open up Safari on their device, head over to this link, and then you're gonna go ahead and go through this quick two-step process to install authority and profile certificates on the device to ensure that the remote um, management software can of course send it back to your Kirby account. And to show how easy it is here, uh, just to install one of these here, for example, if I wanted to install the Kirby profile, you would just follow each step, install the certificate authority, install the Kirby profile here. You just tap on it, it's gonna open up this install profile, you're gonna hit install here. If your children's device has a passcode, you go ahead and enter that in here. Just like that, it'll explain to you what it's doing essentially to your device, and you can go ahead and hit install here and hit trust for remote management. And just like that, the profile is installed, you're done. Of course, you're gonna go through the same process with your certificate authority. And after that, log right back into your Kirby account. And here we are in the Kirby device manager and you can see my iPhone has been set up. I can click to set it up here. I can give it a name. Of course, I can name it after the child. You know, if you have uh, multiple children, you can name it after them. Uh, you can even put a profile picture for their device specifically. From there, you have the ability to monitor these four things and have these four tabs are your main features. You can of course monitor the usage in itself, get deta detailed reports, whether it's daily, weekly, a specific date. Uh, you can see essentially what it'll show is what they're uh, they're ranking their usage as far as what website they're visiting the most and how much time they're spending on it. From there, you can also see all the installed applications on their phone. So if you can see they have a ton of games or they just have stuff that's super distracting to them or stuff that they shouldn't have on their device, you can easily see it here. From there, you can set rules. Now, this is a really, really great feature in Kirby. This allows you to specify and be really flexible with the rules regarding your children's devices here. So I here, for example, have an iPhone study time rule that I have set up here that blocks specific sites. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a new rule to show you how easy it is here. You can set up rules for multiple scenarios. So for example, if it's bedtime for your, you know, your children, you want to, uh, set a rule so specifically what do you want it to block when it applies to this bedtime rule so maybe you just want it to block everything you know when it's time for them to sleep it's time for them to sleep you don't want them spending uh, countless extra hours on their device you can block everything here you can choose categories to block from gambling sites tv and video gun sites sex related sites social media sites etc or you can even add specific sites so if your kid has this one site that he's just spending hours and hours and on and you want to block it at specific times you can set that here hit next here and then set up the rule. So in this case, for a bedtime rule, what time do they usually wake up? You can even, uh, gr what's really great about it is they have uh, caveats here. So if it's, a week if it's a school night or if it's a weekend, you can change it up here. So maybe they sleep later on the weekend so you can give them some extra leeway here. Set the rule and then just like that, apply it to the device that you want to apply it to, apply the rule. And then again, it will take care of itself from there. Now, last but not least, you have the ability to edit the device in itself, monitor the device details from its iOS version, capacity, uh, edit block content, edit restriction, all of that right here. You can even remove the device from the Kirby system altogether. 
You'll also notice this timeout button in the top left. This timeout button, when your kid is just, you know, you know, he, he won't get off his device, he or she won't get off his device. You need to teach them a lesson. The timeout mode blocks everything. It blocks all internet access so they can't, you know, be installing apps, they can't be playing games, they can't be going on social media. So for those times where you really need to teach them a lesson, you click the timeout button, let Kirby take care of the rest. It's that simple with Kirby. Really, for you parents out there, this is the number one parental iOS management software that I recommend because you don't need to be tech savvy. The installation process is two clicks, two profiles to install. You can then monitor your kid's social media usage, you know, make sure they're not wasting time on specific apps. You can block explicit or inappropriate content. You can just, you know, secure and make sure that they're safe on their device and they're not interacting in ways that they shouldn't be or it's strangers or anything for that matter. You get detailed reports from Kirby. Ultimately, what Kirby sells you is peace of mind and that in itself is priceless. So all that said, I want to give another huge thanks to Kirby for sponsoring not just this video, but a campaign of content that I'm going to be releasing surrounding web safety topics. I thank them so much, and I hope you guys enjoy the content to come. And of course, check out all information on Kirby in the video description link down below.